I'm Bryce, the incident commander at the Cameron Bluffs Wildfire. We moved the fire into being held, which is a good sign for progress in the fire and shows the, all the work that's gone into it so far. That still doesn't mean that uh, it is safe for people to start accessing the fire area, including the highway corridor along Highway 4, Cameron Bluffs. Uh, we're still continuing to work uh, the fire's edge along there and working with our partners at Ministry of Transportation to mitigate the risk associated with the fire above the highway. Uh, my name is Kelly Mackay. I work for the BC Wildfire Service. I am the crew supervisor of the Valhalla unit crew. We are currently on the Cameron Bluffs Wildfire in the Coastal Fire Centre. Uh, right now we are working on danger tree assessment to uh, make it safe for responders, work with fallers here on the coast to mitigate the hazards, and also work with the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure to make it safe so that we can reopen the highway uh, to the west coast of Vancouver Island. Hi, I'm Susan Randall. I am an engineer with the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure and I am here on the eastern side of the Cameron Lake Fire. We still have a fair bit of hot rockfall coming down off of the slopes that rock's all been burnt up so it's fracturing and spalling off as time goes by. At this point our plan is to pull up rock mesh and have a physical barrier so barriers or lock blocks blocking off a portion of the lane to really catch the, that debris from coming down. Our plan so far is to have cranes holding the mesh so that anything that comes out at height hits the mesh before it falls down to the front face of those barriers. I'm Gage Armitage, I'm DTA, DTF with NFO. Yeah, I'm Taylor Baines, DTF, NFO. Uh, Blue Dixon, also DTF. Joe Holder, uh, DTA, DTF. With the ground, there's a lot of challenges up there. You know, we're running into a lot of heavily, heavily burnt, very large trees, lots of runaway potential, lots of rolling rock, large diameter trees, usually lots of uh, crown, lots of weight. Fires rolled through, it's burnt up that duff layer and, and now the rock's really unstable. You know, every step we take causes a chain reaction, so we're, we're dealing with a lot of that. There's no soil left on the ground, it's just rocks and it Every step you take, it's creating a little mini landslide as you're going. Everything that was holding anything together is gone. It's burnt away. At some point, yeah. you know that like people are going to be on this road, and you know, you're taking some ownership that you don't want to leave anything that's going to be detrimental to people driving. The Ministry of Transportation is really happy that we're able to deal with everything that we can so far, and primary focus, safety to workers.